use mugs. We're back with a new comic review, and it is Daredevil number 17, also known as 629, and it's by Chip Sadowski. And who's doing the art on this? Uh, George uh, Fondos. Fondos. Okay, we're still going through this whole through hell thing. And, okay, last we left our heroes, uh, Daredevil and Elektra decided to rip off the storm winds and kind of, like, play a Robin Hood, like, steal $3 billion and give it to, like, the people that they've been kind of, like, made suffer in the Hell's Kitchen. Uh, unbeknownst to Bat, though, Elektra kind of, like, took off the top uh, a billion for herself. Uh, this, of course, like, peed off him, so he decided to split. And let's see, you know, he's helped kind of repair some of the places around here, but he has also noticed that the Stormwinds aren't playing fair uh, because, well, they own everything. So they have actually kind of been able to cause the cops to patrol Hell's Kitchen less while there's a mob war going on at the same time. Uh, which, by the way, we get to see some of that. Hammerhead is taken down. And that kind of starts some other stuff. He, uh, Matt's kind of trying to decide what to do, essentially. And he's trying very hard, very hard, not to be Daredevil again. But he's basically doing all the Daredevil stuff, frankly. Um, he puts under the skies and meets the Stormwinds. And there's this amazing exchange right here where... He's wearing a mask talking to them and interrogating him right in this big party. And they're assuming he's a reporter. And it just gives you an idea of the kind of power that these kind of people have, by the way, in real life. And they tell him straight up, like, look, if you tell people about what, what we're doing, we'll kill you. Or if you uh, sell this to the media, we'll buy the media. If we don't own, own it already. Jeez, these people are pretty terrible. I mean, these are the same guys who casually threw the Kingpin out the window, and Kingpin can't do anything about it. Uh, so I'm kind of digging these villains, by the way. Uh, they're, they're twins, and they have white hair, and that's basically it. They're very realistic besides that. Uh, one thing that really got to me, he is, of course, this whole thing has kind of, like, uh, started out of Daredevil accidentally killing a thief. Uh, he's been trying to make amends of it. He's, of course, retired as Daredevil. He's doing his best to kind of, like, attack the uh, systematic effects uh, that uh, those corrupt in charge do, which is, like, you know, instead of, like, beating up thugs, like, wait, maybe I should just, like, kind of destroy the whole structure that causes these thugs instead of just all these, you know, people just trying to make a living. Um, even if it's the wrong way. So also he's been, uh, he's become the, uh, the parole officer for that uh, guy's brother. And he's been trying to help him get out of crime and, you know, take a more like straight and forward, straight and life uh, and there's this scene this amazing scene he has with the, their mother and their mother knows that he's daredevil and that he killed her son and it's absolutely jarring to read because it just comes right out of nowhere and she forgives him and uh, she tells him I know you're trying to do your best and I know you're suffering because of this and I know it was an accident, and I know you're trying to make good on it. Um, she, like, you know, forgives him. It's just... <clears throat> it's a great book. Um, I, gotta, I gotta say, Chip Zdarsky brings a lot of humor to this series. Uh, he brings a lot of great, like, action and intrigue. But those human moments, I really think, just really put it over the top for me. This is a wonderful series. Uh, five out of five Ram Chips. Get this book. Get all of these Chip Zdarsky Daredevils right now. Like... Stop whatever you're doing and go do it. Oh, uh, definitely. Five out of five Ram chips. Hey, did you read this? Uh, if you did, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you haven't been reading it, uh, you think maybe you might be interested based on my reviews, uh, leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, also, you can buy my comics, uh, Red Knight, and also DaVita at manospublishing.com. And you can support this channel with uh, Patreon over just a dollar a month. 
Oh, hey, by the way, I'm also uh, all over the place. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, uh, I think that's it. Push the button, Lindsay.